welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to make mini chicken pot pies from the oven section of Taste of Home Easy Weeknight Dinners. They're these really adorable individual sized portions with a crescent roll top. So I have my Dutch oven over medium heat with a little bit of oil in it. I'm going to add one medium onion that I've diced. And while that's cooking, I'm also going to add about three cups of raw chicken breast. This chicken breast is just cubed, and I'm going to cook it all the way through. And while that's cooking, I'm going to move over to this little bowl. So in a separate bowl, I'm going to pour three cups of chicken stock. Oh my goodness. I am so messy. And a fourth a cup of flour. And I'm just going to stir this together until there are no more lumps. Multitask a little bit and move my chicken around. I actually think that I'm better off using a whisk to get the lumps out of this flour. Yeah. A whisk gets it out really, really quickly. So this is just like a milky colored liquid now. So I'll give this chicken a couple more minutes to cook and I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to mince this thyme. I'm going to get about a tablespoon of fresh thyme. If you're doing dry, only use about one teaspoon. And this recipe actually calls for three tablespoons of minced fresh parsley, but genius me at the grocery store with both kids got cilantro for some reason. I came home and opened my grocery bag and there's a big old thing of cilantro in there. Don't use cilantro, use the parsley, but I'm just going to omit it. Now that the chicken is totally cooked, I've dumped in my chicken stock and flour mixture. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and let it thicken a little bit for a couple minutes and then finish adding the rest of my ingredients. And while all of that is going on, I have some boiling water on the stove and I'm blanching some asparagus. I'm just gonna throw this asparagus in for about two minutes. I don't know if everyone knows what it means to blanch something. Basically, you boil it for two minutes and then throw it in ice water to stop the cooking process. And it makes it really tender, but still keep its shape and be a little bit crisper on the outside. Because there's nothing worse than soggy asparagus. So I'm going to make a little green salad for the side and chop up some blanched asparagus to go on top. It's going to be amazing. So this is thickened. You see that consistency? So to this, I'm going to add 16 ounces of frozen carrots and peas. And I have these beautiful multicolored carrots, these heirloom carrots. Look at this purple carrot. It's crazy that things naturally grow in these vibrant bright colors. So 16 ounces of frozen peas and carrots. Throw some peas in there. And this mixture makes eight servings. So I'm gonna make half tonight because it's only four of us eating. And then I'm gonna make half tomorrow. I'm just so the last veggie in here is some roasted red potatoes, cooked red potatoes, and I found these frozen ones and so I was really stoked. I'm going to add my thyme and I would add my parsley if I had it. Just a little bit of pepper, about fourth a teaspoon. Hi. 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 <laughs> in the oven. They'll bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Say what you're doing. So I'm taking the salad leaves, tearing them up as I put them in the bowl. And spilling them all over spilling the place. Spilling them all over the place, of course. What kind of asparagus is this? Uh, what very succulent. <laughs> so my memory card ran out of space while we were in the middle of filming and we didn't notice. So we made the salad. We just put in some, actually I didn't, Matt did. Put in some, can you take credit for it? You put in some blanched asparagus and some sliced avocado and parmesan and red wine vinegar dressing. And that's it, right? And some crushed pepper. And, and we're gonna mix in one baby. baby. Oh my God. <laughs> the pot pies are about finished. I brushed some egg white on the tops because I totally forgot to before I put them in the oven. So I'm just waiting for that to solidify and then those will be done. These are fresh out the oven. Do you see how cute it looks when they're dangling off a little? Hi, Mom. Did Mom for me? Oh my gosh, it's hot. Hi. Mmm, ta da! <laughs> yep, and the pot pie next to it is for you. Oh, that's so good. 
yummy. Yeah, it's quite. What is that? That's the crust.